One of the key components of my book is to allow students to work on technique with creativity and imagination. One of the best ways to do that is to use chord progressions combined with technical exercises. Now normally when students work on their technique, let's say they're going to work on double lateral strokes, they would work in a chromatic fashion. It might be something like this. This is a double lateral stroke, one, two, three, four, chromatically up the instrument. And so forth, up and down the keyboard. Now that's great for technique, but not so good for creativity and imagination and musicianship. Now look at page six. At the top of page six, there are some statements about how to apply chord progressions to technical exercises. The chord progression that I've chosen is one, two, seven, five, seven, one. Now, if you look over to page seven, you can see that there are two exercises built on that chord progression and eight permutations. Your goal is to apply those eight permutations to both of those exercises. Let me give you some ex uh, examples. Here is exercise number one with permutation number one, and I'm going to spell the chords to you first. In C major, the one chord from the root up is C, E, G. The two chord is the D minor seven chord, or D, F, A, C. Moving to the dominant chord, or the five, seven chord, G, B, D, F and then back to the one chord. So here's exercise number one with permutation number one slowly. Same thing, a little faster. Exercise number two is the exact same chord progression, but in a different voicing. Here is exercise number two in C major with permutation number four. And that permutation number four is one, two, four, three. Slowly. A little faster. Now, as you change keys, you need to continue to have a very strong sound. As you move to the accidental bars, strive to play in the center of the bar or slightly off center for a full, rich tone. Often in marimba literature, though, you can't always go to the middle of the bar. You have to play on the very edges of the bar. That's fine. You can get a very strong sound here if you play on the very, very edge. Don't go close to the node where the string goes through the bar. Here's an example of exercise number one, permutation number five in D major. Notice how I'm going to break my wrist to be able to allow uh, to play in good playing zones on the F sharp and C sharp. Very slowly, exercise number one, permutation number five. faster. Here's an example of exercise number two in D flat, permutation number seven, slowly. Faster. Which chord progression you use doesn't matter. You can choose one from a pop tune, or jazz selection, or classical music, or one that you compose. However you approach it, use chord 
progressions combined with technical exercises to strengthen your technique.